co-drivers. Car number nine then is that of the rally leader. It's Andreas Mikkelsen, fourth in the championship against this man, the local hero, car number 10, Robert Kubica. It's why the 149,999 people are here to see the man on that far side. I was kind of hoping we were going to get a wide shot of him over the jump at some point just to see the difference. I know they're two different cars, a Volkswagen to a Ford, but one without any rear aero and one with. Like like I mean, that very right hand there hardly appears until right at the last minute. So Robert said after his roll that he really struggled with the rear aero. It's not going to make as much difference in here, but obviously it may. It's just coming through the dust, just having a one or two digs at the corner rather than like a fast smooth flowing line if it was completely clear but as you say that's one of the challenges as Mickelson comes out right let's just see what he's like over the jumps so we see if that rear arrow okay. doesn't make a difference just on a small jump that's the rally leader as he throws himself into the left-hander that's Andreas Mickelson in the VW Polo R who says the confidence is there but let's listen to Robert and to match it now this is all that was Ola and uh, Andreas Big slides. There's Mickelson. Who says the confidence is now there. He's enjoying himself with his new co-driver. A lot of fun he says out there after just two stages. Robert over the bridge. Andreas already through the tunnel. And Robert's a driver in early on. With base driving off vision rather than the base. It's a huge commitment through that long, long left-hander for Andreas Mickelson. Mickelson on the outside. Patton's time is the fastest. Patton's got the fastest Not time there, but Mickelson now has it. He's monstered that by 1.7 seconds to take the fastest time through here. And it's a happy birthday for Andreas Mickelson because five well, years old, so the rally leader has now got the fastest time through okay, the third stage. They hardly look, they hardly sound as if they've broken sweat. I was just seeing uh, what, not that I speak any Norwegian, just out of interest I was seeing. I thought Andreas was going to spin here. He just seemed to be way, way wide. OK, let's, let's just watch Robert over the jump, see if the back end flicks up anymore. Of no rear end. A little bit more. He didn't want to take any big gambles. This is beautiful slide from Andreas Mickelson to this last corner. Mickelson disappears out of our shot, and there is Robert Kubica coming to the end of the stage. Let's hear from the man himself. And that sun with the dust is not making it any easier. Yeah, it's uh, very dangerous here because uh, uh, if you are inside line, you get so much dust on the outside when you are doing the lap. We have to stop. The sun is going down, so uh, I have to stop in one corner because I couldn't see anything. But after the roll in stage two, the car's okay. Yeah, it's all okay. Okay, thank you, Robert. <laughs> Robert Kubica talking to Jack Piper, saying the car's OK. He said before the event he's got to keep his feet on the ground. But he's very, very happy that he can provide, he and the other Polish drivers, he said, very selflessly can provide entertainment.